I'm going to start with one of my pet desires, and that is to get unsolved problems into the math classroom. And the unsolved problem I'm going to choose to start with is this one. It's, uh, it was in 1911, and Otto Toplitz came up with the, uh, with the problem that is still unsolved today, that given any curve, any loop, uh, for example, this loop here, can you find a square that touches every, uh, the, the four corners touch this loop? So that, that's an example of a loop. Can you find a square? Who wants to volunteer? Jump up. Mm -hmm. Don't even think. Come on up. Yeah, come on up. There's a hand. So you have to... <laughs> you have to draw an X, you have to draw four X's all on that loop, and the four X's together are going to make a square, the corners of a square. First of all, before I do this, can I get thumbs up if you think it can be done? And it can't be done. Just curious. Okay. That's <coughs> okay, so four X's, but they would be. Yeah. They have to be on that loop. And as you're doing that, I'm going to be sipping okay, yeah. my wine. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoying Sorry, it my... thoroughly. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's going to quite work. But... Yeah, it's not happy with it. A nice, bold start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to make it, yeah. I guess. Same length, right? <laughs> yeah. So, not not an easy problem, um, and uh, unsolved. So I'll show you. Can I, no, I cheated. Can, can the boundary of the square be? Does it have to be completely inside, or nope. is so? It's just the corners. All yep, the, just the corners. The corners. So uh, I cheated, of course, in order to to find this is one of the solutions. In order to find this, of course, I drew the squares first. And then I drew the screen <laughs> And so then I can I could brag to you guys, oh yes, you see I found, I found all of these ones. But of course I cheated. <laughs> 